There aren't too many still with us like Anne McCaffrey, who recalls what it was like in 1918. She's 97 now, living in a Toronto retirement home, but back then, when it was mistakenly called the Spanish flu because everyone thought it started there, she was a volunteer nurse in a small Northern England community. Well, sometimes I had to go out mm -hmm. and help with them on the street. Yeah. You know, you had to go out and help to lift them up and put them into the ambulance or whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> that's how I knew they were dropping dead on the streets. They weren't just, just dying in the hospital. They were dying all over. They just fell flat on the, on the ground. I've seen them, seen it happen. No one knew what hit them. It struck not just the old and fragile, but the young and healthy. The most popular protection was the white cotton mask. Useless. One town made it a criminal offense to shake hands. A lot of good that did. Until we find out what made this virus so deadly, we're vulnerable to the next killer flu. Which is why, in Washington, Dr. Jeffrey Toppenberger is hot on the trail of that 80-year-old serial killer.